Nobody needs to be told poisons kill and they've been around for centuries. Some people like assassins think of it as a blessing while others, particularly the victims, think of it as a curse. Either way, no matter what people think, these dangerous substances exist and are produced for defense in plants and some animals alike. Yeah, I know, we all know. But do we know that there was a man who survived 173 snake bites and lived to be 100? Well, wait till number one. Here are the top 10 facts about poison you didn't know about. Number 10. The the deadliest of them all. In the world of animals, the box jellyfish is the world's poisonous on both the land and sea. However, within the kingdom of poisons, if at all there's anything like that, the botulinum toxin is the deadliest. Although many scientists stand on different sides about the actual toxicity of the substance. But even with that, the botulinum toxin is the most toxic substance on the planet. From what I heard, it is produced by a tiny bacterium that can survive without oxygen. Yet a single nanogram per kilogram of this poison is enough to kill a man, and a little more can fall on an elephant. In simpler terms, that means that a dosage the size of two tiny grains of common salt can kill a grown-up. According to its history, it was the first discovered in the late 18th century as the major cause of food poisoning that resulted from eating half-cooked sausage. Number 9. The Oldest Poison and Antidote Unlike many other things, poisons had rather controversial checkpoints in its history. Some say the earliest known poisons dated back to 114 BC during the time of King Mithridates was a fearful king who lived half of his life trying to be immune to as many poisons as possible. Many a time he would test his several poisons on criminals about to be executed and worked further to see his antidote worked. To cut a long story short, Mithridates later discovered a secret formula that made him resist many poisons and he named it Mithridatium. Years later, Anatolia fell and Mithridatium was taken away to Rome by Pompey the Great. In Rome, death by poisoning has been in vogue since 331 BC, if not earlier. One of the most notable poison executions were the enema cyanide poisons used by Emperor Nero of Rome on his family members to get and keep his power. Number 8. Nearly everything is a potential poison Depending on who you ask, a poison can either be a dangerous substance that disturbs your body system or probably any dangerous thing which when ingested can kill. Well, that's no doubt a correct answer. But the truth is, not everything poisonous initially strikes one as dangerous. Instead, anything is a potential poison if you ingest enough, from plants that we can't do without to everyday cosmetics and even our common painkillers, poison surrounds us. And that goes double for painkillers. Back in 2016, an annual report from the American Association of Poison Control Centers revealed that most of the common human poisoning cases in the United States resulted from analgestics, otherwise known as painkillers. Number 7. Not all poisons are bad. Usually, when we think about poisons, death is the next thing that easily comes to mind. But then again, not all poisons are used for ill-fated purposes like assassins and tyrant kings. In today's world, scientists have found a way to put these notorious silent killers into good use in medical treatments. Take the Gila monster, for instance. A single bite from this animal can lead to paralysis, if not death. Yet frontier researchers from the University of North Carolina discovered that the right amount of saliva can actually help to sustain a glucose level in the blood. As such, a type 2 diabetes patient would suffer no more. In other parts of the world, it has been shown that some viper venoms can help to reduce overly high blood pressure, according to some, even the venom of the notorious killer of the sea. The killer cone snail can serve as pain relievers. But then again, these animals are not for you to play with. I believe you know that, right? Number 6. Poison dart frogs were not born with poison. In a long, long time ago, poison darts and arrows were the main tools of assassins, and back then, they got their poison recipes from brightly colored frogs and other animals. But did you know that those frogs with skins that have enough poisons to kill 10 grown-ups were not born poisonous themselves? Well, I was also shocked when I found out. According to the science community, no one is really sure about where or how they became so poisonous. But one thing that's common in all their explanations is that these frogs probably retain the plant poisons found in the body of ants, beetles, and termites, which form a large chunk of their food. To further prove this statement, a group of scientists isolated some dart frogs and raised them in captivity away from insectivorous foods. Amazingly, none of the frogs grew up with poison. Number 5. A Caterpillar with a Death Sting While poisons are usually associated with silent deaths in the human world, in the lower animal kingdom, things happen a little bit differently. There, any animal that is poisonous or has one painful sting or the other would advertise themselves as 
is one to warn other animals of the power they possess. One good example of that can be seen in the long-winged butterflies that feed on passion flowers known to be poisonous. As caterpillars, these butterflies would break down the poisonous content of the plant to produce a poisonous substance called cyanide. From what I know, cyanide is among the deadliest poison in the world. To warn off others, these caterpillars and their adults have brightly colored bodies and wings. As such, they're less prone to predator attacks. Number 4. The C2 Poison The Soviet Union, especially their scientists, are known for many bad things. One of these things is the invention of the C2 poison which is tasteless, odorless, and very difficult to diagnose even after the victim dies. But before the first vial of the C2 poison was made, dozens of war prisoners had been tested with several others from cyanide to mustard gas, you name it. According to some witnesses, the C2 is so potent that the test subjects grew thinner within minutes. Afterwards, they would grow shorter and then grow silent. The next minute after this would be the beginning of the last journey to the Grim Reaper. Number 3. The Prisoner's Poison also known as thallium poisons, these are one of the slowest acting poisons in the world and they are called the prisoner's poison because they are colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Then again, these poisons cause excruciating pain to their victim, yet no one would know they were because most times they would have wide-ranging symptoms similar to a host of other common illnesses and conditions. As such, the thallium poisons are one of the most effective murder weapons ever. Number 2. The Snowy White Fairy Tale If you're a fan of fiction, you've probably heard the story of a witch that was put into a sleep-death-like state after eating an apple shared by another. That story went on and on, but the truth is it's not far-fetched because there are poisons that would prevent anyone from being able to move their arms and legs or even talk and blink. In short, the person would appear dead but in a technical sense he would still be alive. The pufferfish toxin and some snake venom are known to behave this way by interacting with specific muscle nerve fibers in the limbs. But if by chance the dosage ingested by the person scaled above normal and his lungs became paralyzed, such a victim would be a goner. Likewise, the sharing part of the story also has a basis in real life especially in the Malaysian culture, where the only one side of the two, the knife would be laden with a poison before cutting the fruit. As such, only one part of the fruit would be toxic. Number 1. The Man Who Survived 173 Snake Bites Dubbed the Snake Man, this real man was Bill Haste. During his time alive, he was the owner of the Sea Pentarium in Miami who had the notion to build snake immunity King Methodates of Antolia. So every day, he would inject himself with some dosage of snake venom and some how he survived over 170 of them, yet he lived up to 100 years of age. But before he died, he would visit hospitals to donate his blood to snake bite victims when no suitable anti-venom is anywhere in sight. And according to the report, nearly 20 individuals were treated with his antibody-rich blood. But as weird as this might sound, he isn't the only one crazy enough to try this. Another man, an amateur researcher this time around named Tim Freed, also tried to make himself immune to snake venom. As of 2016, many say he has survived nearly 160 bites from different snake species. How he did it? Well, I don't know. With all that said and done, I'm going to wrap things up now. Which of the following facts about poisons did you hear for the first time? Which of them was a shocker? Let's know in the comment section below. But before you do that, like the video, turn on the notifications, and subscribe to make your viewing experience smooth as glass.